My friends, I've got a lot to talk to you about again today. I've got a clear direction on the K-Craft guitar. I uh, want to tell you the status of part two of the Washburn video, which I know you'll find interesting. And I've got a whole lot of other just small things to tell you about, and we'll do all that right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Happy Valentine's Day 2023. Yes, today is February 14th, and that means I better get busy. <laughs> Unlike all the rest of you who have already went out and bought your gifts way ahead of time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, sometimes I get so busy, I don't, you know, I don't think the next day. All I think about is getting the, putting the fires out on that day. And that's what I do pretty much every day of my life, is just put out as many fires as I can put out. So when the, when the, you look at the calendar and you go February 14th, that seems like that's a significant date. <laughs> I'm going, oh, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it weeks ago. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, we had a full day yesterday. Of course, I had to edit the video vlog. And, and by the way, thank you so much for those of you who went over and checked out the Culver Props channel. I heard from Elena indirectly through Emery, actually, and she said she was very appreciative of the shout out and the new subscriptions that she got. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. it to me, it's like payback to uh, Gene Smith. Smith, uh, helping out his granddaughter there. And it's an interesting channel anyway. You know, I think you get something out of it if you check out Culver Props. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the link in yesterday's vlog. So here's how yesterday went. I finished that vlog from yesterday, which takes a while. It takes longer than you think to put these videos together. While yesterday's vlog was rendering, I worked on the K-Craft in terms of taking it apart. I also called the customer and got a clear direction. And I'll tell you all about that in just a minute. But back to the office. I finished up the paperwork in there and I thought, you know, rather than going back and working on the K-Craft, what I really need to do is get part two of that video going so you guys are, that are chomping at the bit can see part two of the Washburn Parley guitar video, which I think you're going to really enjoy, by the way. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Anyway, I worked on that from about 9.45 to 11.30. Then I went to lunch. Then I came back at about uh, one o'clock and I worked on it till 5.20. Then I set it to rendering and jumped in the car and my wife and I went and saw my granddaughter's uh, last regular season uh, basketball game. Mary Ellen is her name. And Mary Ellen, you've heard me talk about before, has my hands. She, uh, the day she was born, most of you have already heard me say, first thing I noticed about her when I saw her in the hospital the day she was born I said oh my gosh she's got my hands <laughs> and truly she did uh, it was very obvious you could just see how long her fingers were that has helped her immensely in her basketball career when there's a loose ball and there's two girls grabbing it the other girl better turn loose <laughs> Is Mary Ellen's coming out of there with that ball, with those hands she's got. She never, she you never see her lose grip on that. She just grabs that ball and that other girl goes flying. It's pretty amazing because she's strong too on top of it. And she's tall. She and she did really good in her basketball game last night. It was an awesome game. They started out just, you know, winning right up at the front. They were, you know, 12 points ahead, something like that, through most of the game. Well, then the home team got a little bit of momentum there at the last two minutes minutes and they caught up the game and tied it at just before the buzzer. I mean, there was like three seconds left and they tied the game. <laughs> so it was intense. So they had to go to overtime and then uh, fortunately we dominated in overtime. We won the game, but it was in tense, man. I'm telling you, it was a great game. I have a picture here that I'm going to insert uh, of a article that was written a couple of weeks ago about my granddaughter, and she was in the paper, and uh, you can take a look at that. It tells how well she did at her own uh, Newburgh High School tournament. Newburgh dominated in that tournament.
I might just add that she did not get her basketball prowess from me. She only got her hands from me. <laughs> I am like all thumbs when it comes to basketball. That's the one sport I couldn't play at all. Well, probably hockey too. But uh, football and baseball, I, I could keep up and hold my own on those two sports. But on uh, basketball, man, I was like last in line. <laughs> So she doesn't get any of her skill on the basketball court from me, I can tell you that. And she's got plenty of skill. Well, moving right along, I told you I'd tell you the uh, direction on this K-Craft. I took the strings off of it, and I took the resonator out of it. And sure enough, I did make this, uh, this custom uh, mount here for this. Uh, you probably saw it in another video. There is another video on this K-Craft resonator guitar from several years ago. Well, now the direction is the customer wants this to play like a regular guitar. And so I wanted to take this apart like this so I could look inside and see what, you know, what's going on at the neck area. Because I don't know if this is a bolt-on. I didn't think it was, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't a bolt-on. And I also noticed that this, uh, this post right here is loose, so we'll have to fix that. But the other thing I've noticed, and it's, it's subtle, but this is, this is humped up right here, right here. And what I think that is, is these posts don't let it go down. And I think this neck has pulled up. And so it's crimped it down here, which kind of crimps this up here because of these posts. So, you know, we got some work cut out for us here. And, and basically all we have to do is a neck reset on this and set it up like a guitar. So it's a simpler thing than I was expecting to have to do. But on the other hand, uh, it might be more complicated by this. And I'm not sure I care about this yet, but I'll know that maybe after I get the neck out and see you know, how it all feels and all that. But that'll be coming down the road. So I mentioned then that uh, you know I left that uh, video rendering while we went to the basketball game last night. And when I got back from the basketball game, it, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Then uh, after it rendered, I converted the video to a smaller format for uploading. And I did that. And then I started the upload last night. And so this morning then I watched it and sure enough, it all turned out just fine. So later today, I will turn part two of that Washburn video loose. I do still have a few loose ends to tie up. It's not as black and white and straightforward and simple as you might think it is. <laughs> There's a lot to all this. So I do have a few more loose ends to tie up there before I can actually turn it loose to you. But I would say roughly in the noon or afternoon time frame, you'll be seeing that video and I think you'll truly enjoy it. So I hope you will check it out and, and watch it in its entirety. I've mentioned before that, uh, you know, I'm going to be taking a little hiatus from the shop because I just got to get caught up on work around the farm here. In no way am I quitting doing what I'm doing, okay? I just need a break because I've been doing this on video for 10 years and it's been pretty intense for 10 years. You know, we went to Canada for a week or two and we went to Italy for a week or so and that's it. We haven't done anything else. <laughs> I mean, that in 10 years, that's all we've done. I mean, otherwise, all I've done is work, and that's true for 10 years. And so that's why I need a little hiatus, a little break anyway, just for, you know, probably a couple of months here. I'm going to take kind of a break from working on instruments. That'll recharge my batteries and get me motivated to work on them some more, I think. So I've got this K-Craft to work on. I've got five more on the shelf up there to work on, and I don't know how big those projects are. I'm just letting you all know that once I get through those, then I'm not, you know, going to be working on instruments. Even if other instruments show up, they're just going to sit until I get done with my hiatus. <laughs> During my hiatus, uh, working on the farm, this is just a rough off the top of my head list of things I definitely want to get accomplished. One of them is we've got some gigantic trees up around the house. And if you know anything about gigantic trees around your house, and especially in this rocky, loose soil around here, 
it's not a good combination and they're gonna come down you know 30 40 years ago they were big they're gigantic now one of them fell close to the house you know a few years back and I had to cut it up it was gigantic it was four foot in diameter and these others are that big too and it that one just fell I mean it wasn't rotted or anything it just fell over you know so we've got to uh, be really concerned about that so that's going to be one of the things I'm going to take care of during the hiatus I'm either going to saw those trees trees down myself. You know, I might have to rent some sort of a lift to get up there high enough where I can trim them. I don't know. I'm not a tree climber, so climbing is out of the question. Otherwise, I may just hire the work done. I don't know. Another thing that I want to get done uh, during that hiatus is, and for 25 years now, since we've owned this place, I've wanted to build a water wheel that when you come through the entrance of our property, there, there's these two white pillars, and then there's a pond to the left. The spring house is to the right. The spring runs under the road and it drops five or six feet down to the pond. Well, I want to put a big water wheel there, five or six foot water wheel. When I say big, it's not huge. It's just going to be a nice size water wheel. And I want to put a water wheel there and have that just turning constantly from the spring water. I think that will just be beautiful. I've wanted to do it since day one. I just get eat up with projects and I just don't take time to do it. So I'm going to do that come heck or high water <laughs> during this hiatus. So I want to get that done. I think that's going to add so much beauty and character to the property that it's going to increase the property value for one thing. I mean, I really do. I think just that little thing and I'm going to make a little house there and and, and on the inside, I'm going to, I've already made a generator that I think would be really cool to generate some sort of a light there in the in the pond for night or possibly a little 12 volt fountain or something like that. Anyway, I'm, I'm planning to do something there with the power as well. It's going to be kind of cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that. And of course, I'll make videos of all this stuff. I'll make videos of the, taking the trees down and I'll make videos of building the water wheel and putting that up and all that too. So there'll still be plenty of videos coming while I do my hiatus, but they just will be about different things and I hope those of you that are here strictly for the musical instruments will bear with me and give me a little break. I mean that's been 10 years doing this and I need a break. I really do. I just need a break. There's a lot more than that. I, there's some fence that needs to be fixed. I would like to create a little bit of additional pasture for my wife's horses. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff. Too many things to mention in one video here. <laughs> And, and if I get one fourth of those things done, I'll just feel like I got a lot accomplished during my little hiatus. The final thing I'll say is that we will be at Dickie's Barbecue Pit this evening, the band, and we will be having a good time with or without you. I would prefer to have that good time with you. So if you're in the area and you can make it, please come by the barbecue pit this evening in Rolla, Missouri. We get started around six o'clock and we go to about 8.30. We have a great time. I think you would enjoy it too if you would come. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for listening to me and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah.